Chain Together is a 2024 game which is running on the Unreal Engine 5. And these are the minimum system requirements of this game. So today we'll see how much performance we can squeeze out of this game with some simple graphical tweaks. Let's dive in. First, I'm going to run the game using my integrated graphics. Firstly, I've set the screen resolution to 720p and the resolution scaler to 50%, however you can lower it to 20%, but I really don't recommend going below 50%, and all other graphics settings are set to their lowest preset, so now let's see how the game runs with these settings. Well, the game is somewhat playable, but there's still a lot of stuttering, since we're always aiming for higher FPS, so now let's quit the game and see what else we can do to improve its performance. The configuration file of this game is located in the hidden app data folder. Under Local Folder, Chain Together, Saved Folder, Config, and then Windows, now you need to open the Game User Settings file with Notepad. You can easily boost FPS by disabling these certain graphical features, just set the values to zero. Now these two keys here, they control the game's screen resolution. Well, the game doesn't allow for as much lower resolution values, so I'm sticking with 720p here. However, if you have a very low-end PC, feel free to lower it further. Once done, save the file and make sure to set its attributes to read-only. Next, let's apply some additional tweaks. You can enable the potato graphics in the game by adding a few variables to the scalability.ini file. You can find this file into the game's configuration folder. Well. I recommend downloading both the game user settings and scalability files from the video description for convenience. Now save the changes and set the file attributes to read only. Before we test the game, I'm going to downgrade the screen resolution to 800 by 600 for even better performance. Now let's see how the game performs with these tweaks. With these adjustments, the game is now much more playable. And when I'm not recording my screen, I'm getting around 45 to 50 FPS. So guys, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends who have low-spec PCs, so they can also enjoy playing Chain together as well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So until then, take care, and bye. I eagerly await your fall at the very first hurdle.